What is up guys, welcome back to another video, and today we will be covering another deck profile, but this time it will be Blade Wing for Dark Regular. So, before we get started to this deck profile, we're gonna jump over in what this deck does and what it aims to do. So basically, Blade Wing is a deck that specializes in binding cards from your soul face down. So yes, it takes away the entire purpose of Dark Irregulars of accumulated cards in soul and just throwing that out the window. You now accumulate cards in your bind zone. So, the goal is to proc all of Reiji's skill by turn 3. Yes, you heard me right. If you do things correctly, by turn 3, you'll be able to proc all of these skills in an auto win next turn, if you get a bit lucky. So, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started with this deck profile. So we're playing 4 copies of Blade Wing Reggie. So his first skill is what procs his entire skills, and that is if your soul less 10 or less card, soul less 1, choose a card from your soul and bind it face down. So, we can proc this skill for a lot of times. So, we deck them like a mad lad, and in, in just one turn, in turn three, like I said, you proc all of these skills. So, what are these skills? So if you have five or more face down cards in bind, it gets 5k on both your turn and opponent's turn, so you can be played defensively as well. Seven or more during your turn, this card gets 10k in a drive. Ten or more during your turn, this card gets 10k in two crit. So, if you proc all of these skills on turn three, you'll be swinging with a 37 3 37 3 crit triple drive monster so it's either they're gonna heal guard you which you'll be able only to deal one damage which kind of sucks but at least you'll be able to apply pressure on them or they'll be forced to pg early if they're scared of getting able to if, if they're scared of being able to be sacked to death so his auto skill is when the unit attacks if you're minus 15 or more face down cards choose one of your points by cards and deal it to damage so the uh, key is to be a bit lucky and pray that your opponent won't stop his swing. So basically what's gonna happen is deal them a damage, ride Reggie, get the 10 cards in bind, and hopefully deal them a 4. Then next turn, get your bind zone to 15, and then just auto win the game. So that's pretty cool. Next up, on our great lineup, we play 4 copies of Oster Heater. So this card is a great MVP of the deck. So what it does is act on soul, discard a card from your hand, return this card to your hand, put up the 2 cards from your job zone into your soul. So what this guy's main purpose is to recycle Dimension Creeper. That is how you reach 10 cards in soul. You keep on recycling Dimension, uh, Dimension Creeper to have infinite soul charge, and then you'll just suddenly have 10 cards in bind the way you just keep on blocking already, which is pretty much insane. So next up, we want play one copy of Flap Fixer. So he says on Continuous and Guardian Circle, if your Vanguard, if your Vanguard is greater, you're going to get 20 shields. So that's pretty good. We uh, have more defensive options. Second skill is auto. Vanguard Rigor Circle when placed from hand, search your deck up to one one grade three, put into your soul, shuffle your deck. So this card basically combos with this guy. However, this could be treated as a flex spot. You can play with any spot in here. So keep that in mind. For poisoning of top there. So you could play uh Master of Elements. So however, I I haven't really play tested with Master of Elements yet, so I don't know if he's better for this deck. But for now, Poison of Doctor does his job pretty well. So this card combos well with another card in this deck that I'll show later. So it says his fan on rear when place Pen of Last One is card from your hand. Search your deck up to uh, three grade two or less units with the same card name. Put two cards among them there, so call the rest of your shuffle deck. So basically you can charge two and call one. So you can basically if you want to, you can uh, charge three creepers and call one creeper. Uh, no, charge two creepers and call one creeper to rear. However, you don't want to do that, you want to combo it with another card later on. One Tragic Claw is another flex spot. Uh, you could play this for a fourth uh, Blading Sykes, which I'll get into later. However, one Tragic Claw is fine. You'll be able to block the skill sometime. However, the reason why I'm playing one because you can have five good right targets. Because moving on to the next way to Blading Sykes, you kind of this guy kind of sucks when you ride him because like you kind of want to accumulate soul fast already, but not fast enough per se. Just like you want to accumulate soul in every turn that you can. This guy accumulates soul, this guy accumulates soul, this guy only accumulates soul on your turn 3. So, like, these are the better right targets than Sykes. However, I guess it's also pretty fine to ride Sykes as well. So, Sykes is the card that combos with Abductor. So, Abductor basically, you grab 3 Sykes, call 2 Sykes, I mean, you'll shove 2 Sykes into soul. Then call one psych, and then you'll be able to soul charge an uh, infinite amount of cards. <laughs> That's pretty insane. So, for the green one lineup, we play four copies of Bestial Sque uh, Squeezer. So, what she says is when Sunet is placed on rear, put a normal unit from the drop to the bottom of your deck and soul charge one. You'll use that skill a lot. 
And second spell is what you use mostly is act on drop minus card choose one of your requests and shout it to your soul. So if you do your combo with Abductor and Sykes, so you'll have one Sykes on rear, you can use Squeezer to call this Sykes and shove to and shove this Sykes into the soul, and you'll be able to soul charge two again, so you can help your Reggie plays. Simple combo. So we play next up the MVP of the deck. The only reason how we hit 10 cards in mine on turn 3. Dimension Creeper. So it's still is simple. Soul put a to your drop. If you have a dark creeper spine card, soul charge 2. So with this guy and this girl, which I'll get into later, you'll be able to recycle him over and over again. And if you're luck and then if you run out of creepers, that's no problem. <laughs> You'll have Sykes and Soul as well, so yeah, if you get lucky with your Soul Chargers, you'll have a bunch of Creepers and Soul, and a bunch of Sykes and Soul, so once you run out of cards to recycle Creeper with, you'll still have Sykes to be possibly able to help you uh, fill more cards in Soul again, so that uh, you can pop Reggie. So, do take note that Reggie's Axe skill only works if you have 10 or less cards, so don't go bonkers and just keep on spamming Sykes and Creeper, and expect ready to do things because again his soul own, his activability only works if you have 10 or less cards in your soul the moment you go over that you're doomed because you have no other way to soul blast really so yeah everything charges here so you have to be careful of your soul charging you have to time it you have to every you have to have perfect timing with your soul charges because the moment you go overboard you will have no way to remove those cards Except we play four Yellow Bolt. So Yellow Bolt is a uh, insane card. Uh, however, it can be treated as a flex spot. You can play anything in this point. Really, I just like it because it charges. You could play a Elemental Ma uh, Master of Emblem Master here because that card basically is also really good for this deck. However, uh, again, I haven't play tested with Emblem Master and Yellow Bolt seems to be working fine so far. It's really nice. Now, next up, the other MVP of the Creeper Recycle combo. Varian's Killer Tail. So you see this used in uh, the Idex rubber for CC. She's not used for CC. She's used to recycle Creeper, which is, yeah, that's basically her main purpose. This in combo with uh, Heater, you can recycle Creeper like so many times in one turn and maybe Sykes as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Then you play the V Starter. Then you play Cray Elemental Old Key because. Why not? Yeah. However, I think it. I think the deck would be fine as well if you play Dark State LT. So there you go. Next up, uh, three crit strike fighters because we will rarely strike in this deck. If things go well, if things go well, you will never strike in this deck. However, if things really don't go well, you'll have to strike in this deck somehow. Uh, four crit sentinels because sacking is fun. Because on your uh, turn three turn, you want to sack them as much as possible. So yeah, and if you play more draws. You will die. You will deck out. Serious. Uh, heal guards because it stops you from being rushed. Uh, Structurally, also another thing with the Structurally that I noticed that a uh, very niche situation. If you have one card left in deck, and the only way you're gonna win is by dealing that two damage with Reggie. You have a you have a Shirley in your hand. You have fourteen cards in mind and one card in soul. So you might oh my god one card in deck. And I'm like one card away from buying. If I swing with Reiji, I win the game because of his auto skill. You can call Shirley, shove into soul, and not soul charge. Because you, uh, the soul charge one is not mandatory. It just says put this unit to your soul if you're Dark Mirror's Vanguard. You may soul charge one. So she can either be a charge one or a charge two. So now you have two cards in soul. Activate Reiji skill, 50 cards in bind, swing with Reiji, deal two damage, and win the game. Which one you? What? But if you swing with Reggie, you're gonna have to drive check the last card in your deck and you lose the game because you deck up. You take note that Reggie's skill states when this unit attacks. And if you proc this, and when this skill procs, it happens before the drive check. So they'll have to take 2 damage before you do your drive check, saving you from losing from that. Now, that's all from the main deck, and let's move on to the uh, G zone. So, okay, so there's not only really one card you stride in this deck in my playtesting. So this guy never come up. This girl, sure, her skill works. Player mouse never comes up. But mullet, yeah, comes up. Yeah, Charvenes, maybe the only other card you will you will shy aside from Tebold. Dust, 
eh, never comes up. You die before you dust. Balam, maybe. Uh, this girl comes up, yeah. And now the only really, the only card you really try, T-Bolt. So what does T-Bolt do? He says when this unit explains, if you have a hard cover play, wing, return all cards from your uh, drop the zone, drops off the deck, shuffle your deck, and then number cards off fifteen or more. The blah blah blah. blah. However, it doesn't really matter because we will ne we will never reach fifteen cards in soul because that is basically impossible for this deck. And if not, so just fine. So basically, my experience says if you cannot make your opponent go to four on turn three. Because on your turn return, you deck clean like a man lad. If you next turn, if you continue deck cleaning, you will die to deck out. There is really no in between. So that's why if you fail to make your opponent go to uh, if you fail your turn three rush with the ready plays thingy, then next turn you try to T bolt and you will basically be safe from decking out. Hopefully you live long enough and then you will fill up mine again and then you just use the release spell. So yeah. This deck has a uh, not so good uh, late game, but it's early game is where it's at, so yeah. This deck can be counted really easily by just PGing the van Vanguard swing or just heal guarding the crap out of you. We're just having a ton of guard if they choose to, so yeah. That is a Blade Wing deck. This card's actually pretty good. Uh, however, it is not... Actually, no, it's not pretty good. It's pretty fun to play, and I like the mechanics of Blade Wing. But like good, maybe in the future if it gets uh, a good support. But for now, do not bring this to a BCS. You will lose every single round of your Swiss. So yeah, 